channel how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing great if it's your first time here you are highly welcome consider subscribing and click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload new video you'll be notified so today i'm going to show you how to drape on your dress without a dress form and also how to finish the hem of your dress with a clean linen. So I'll be using this fabric for the drape. It's one yard and also this soft uh, clean linen to finish the hem of the dress. So what I need to do now is to cut out the parts that I want to drape on. So I'll be working with the lower part of the gown and this is it. You don't need to join the back part yet so that it will be easier for you to drape on it. Okay, so this is the front piece. Okay, I want the drape to stop around the hip area. So what I'm going to do is to fold the fabric I'm using to drape, fold in some like, like five, four to five inches inside just to uh, hide the rough edges and I will place the fold on that hip area this way. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. On the hip area, remember, then I will start draping this way. So I'm draping, as I'm draping, I'm pushing one side up this way because I want the drape to, to have that uh, diagonal look, okay? So as I'm draping, I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. As I'm draping, I'm pushing one side up this way, you see? I'll continue doing this until I get to the upper part of the fabric and I will hide the rough edges this way. You see what I'm doing? And I will start arranging my pleats. done arranging the pleats, I will pin it down before I cut out the edges. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. See, so this is the excess. I'm folding it, folding them inside so you can see the shape. Do you see? Are you seeing it? So I'm still arranging the pleats. See? So I'm going to pin, pin it down before I cut out the excess by the side. Okay, I'll cut the excess. What I'm going to do now is just to flip it to the back this way so I can see the then I'll cut this way. On this side, I'll cut it. The next thing I'm going to do now is to go and 
sew it down and join to the back part, the back piece. And I'll come back and show you how to finish the hem of the skirt or of the gown with a clean only. You can see the shape now. You can see. So I'll go now and join to the back part of the gown. So I'm done joining the back, the front to the back, as you can see. So this is the back piece. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to show you how to finish the hem of your dress with a clean again. So we'll go over to the machine so I can show you that. Okay, like I said, I'm using a soft uh, clean again for this project. So I've gone ahead to cover the rock edges using my fabric, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to get the down part of the dress I'm making, that is the lower part. I will go down to the hem line, and this is the hem line. Locate where I have the zipper allowance, and this is it. This is where I have the zipper allowance and the hem line. So I'm going to open the seam allowance this way, and I will position my hem uh, clinoline on that uh, zipper allowance this way. I hope you can see this is my zipper allowance i've opened the seam at the right side i'm going to place my cleanly i'm sewing on the right side okay so this is it you can see i'm going to sew by one quarter that is very close to the edge of the cleanly So I'm going to sew by one pattern very close to the edge. As I'm sewing, I'll make sure not to drag my pin only. Remember, I position the pin only on the right, uh, right side of the fabric. Um, almost done. So I'm done sewing as you can see. So what I'm going to do next is to flip it over to the wrong side this way. So I'll go to my ironing table and iron it using the hemming gum to hold it down, okay? So I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I'm done uh, gumming the clinoline down using the hemming gum, as you can see. So this is the best way to go about it if you don't want your seam to show at the right side. Or you can go ahead and use a matching thread and still go sew it round to secure it properly. Okay, so that's that. So the essence of using a clinolin to finish the hem of your dress is just to give it a structure and also that wavy and bouncy effect. So that's that. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and, get, and give me a thumbs up. Share this video. If you have any comments, please drop your comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.